What's going on guys? I'm Frank and in this Alma 3 video I'm going to show you how to add volumetric fog to your Alma 3 mission. Volumetric fog is basically a 3D fog that starts around the base of the, the sea level and then works its way up based on the values that you put in for the init command for the, uh, the volumetric fog. The difference between volumetric fog is that and this fog here in the weather settings for your mission, this um, is unrealistic fog. This fog basically will go sh strictly straight up vertically and will block all visibility even if it's a helicopter. It's not realistic because uh, an aircraft gets blinded by the fog as well no matter how high or low they are in the map. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to do that. We'll click a, create a unit first. I'm going to click the unit creation tool in the top left, the little lily guy, and then double click on the map. And then put a command in his initialization. It doesn't have to be in a units uh, in it field. You could also do this through a script, or you could do it through a local executable uh, in the mission. But this way is the easiest for me. I usually uh, like to create a empty object, like a de decorative object, and then just put this in the in it field. But it really doesn't matter. So anyway, just copy and paste this into the in it field, and click OK. And now we should have volumetric fog in the mission. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like. As you can see, the fog is in the hills, like in the valley, but up here it's totally clear. A better example might be uh, maybe around here. There we go. And I can show you how I could change it. If I change this higher, I think the uh, the fog gets higher. Yeah, the first valley here changes the value, uh, the fog's height. But actually, no. I'm not even gonna go over the uh, the values. You could just find it easily on the uh, the wiki. I'll put it in the, the description. You could see the effects like that, though. How easy it is to change it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this video video was helpful, and I'll see you next time.